In this video, I want to chat a little bit about composite profile. So this seems to kind of spook people when they see it. It's a complicated feature control frame. What it requires is looking at the datum references and figuring out where you're measuring from. So you can't have a requirement if you can't measure from a place. Let me show you what I mean. So I've got two diameters here. This one is marked as datum A. We've got a datum here. Datum B is the flat surface. Basic dimension. And now this giant feature control frame. So the single symbol means it's a composite profile. In this situation, it could be three separate profile symbols, but we'll use composite for now. So let's look at the first one, 80 thousandths to A and B. Okay, so that's telling us this surface needs to be oriented to A because that's the only possible thing it could be, right? It can't be located to A because you can't measure on the same axis, right? And then it's gotta be located to B, right? So the surface we can imagine here has to lie within a tolerance zone of 80 thousandths that's perpendicular to A, and then the center of the tolerance zone is exactly one inch from B, no problem. Now, if we look at the second one, we've got 10 thousandths, but only to A. What this means is because we can't measure the distance from A, right? It wouldn't make sense to measure the distance of this surface from here, right? This is just telling us that it's gotta be oriented within 10 thousandths to A. So all this tolerance zone is, is saying, okay, we gotta be within this 80 thousandths, but it's also gotta be perpendicular to A to within 10 thousandths, but it's free to float anywhere within this tolerance zone, right? So we could draw a tolerance zone here, perpendicular to A, but it's free to float within that 80 thousandths tolerance zone and the surface of the part must lie within there. What this does manufacturing wise, it's generally easy to make things perpendicular. It's more difficult to get a register off of here and come out one inch and make it perfectly two size. Now, the last one, one thousandths with no datum reference. So if it doesn't have a datum reference, it's a form tolerance, it has to be, right? All form tolerances are individual requirements. It's a tolerance to itself. So what this is saying is this surface has to not only be within this 80 thousandths, this 10 thousandths, it also has to be flat to within one thousandths. So within this 10 thousandths tolerance zone to A, now we're gonna have another tolerance zone that's one thousandths. Right. And that's separate from any of the other ones. So the thing with this is if you set it up to check to A and B, you got it all fixtured, and the surface is good to one thousandths, you're done. Right. If you set it up and everything is good to 10 thousandths, you don't have to check this 80 thousandths, right? The top one is the least restrictive in terms of tolerance, but the most restrictive in terms of setup. The bottom one is the most restrictive number wise, but it's the easiest to set up form tolerances. You can move the part around to achieve uh, a better number, right? So that's it for this video. Just a real quick talk about composite profile. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Check out the channel for more videos coming soon.